So in today's video, we'll be going over the early access hotfix number 40 for dark and darker. So the first change is performance issues are being fixed, which is great. Fix an issue where multiple keys could active simultaneously after updating keybind settings. Fix an issue where a character could not could be deleted automatically without the confirmation pop up when moving to the character selection screen and quickly cl clicking the delete button. Fix an issue where Cleric's Brewmaster was increasing strength more than intended. Fix an issue where Warlock sometimes failed to transform into demon form when using Blood Pack. Fix an issue where Warlock's Life Drain and Wizard's Magic Lock Aim Collider was too small. Fix an issue where certain hunting loot could not be sold to merchants. Fix an issue where the bonus damage to undead modifiers did not work properly. Oh, that is uh, quite disturbing to know, to see how long that actually was messed up for. We would never know, but various minor bug fixes, moon speed, Production penalty received while walking across change from 40 to 55%, which is good. And rogues create movement speed bonus from 5 to 30%. That's actually really big. Rangers crippling shot movement speed penalty changed from 35 to 40 in duration from 2 to 1. Okay, so it's a little bit more slow, but the slow lasts one second shorter, which is not bad. Rangers spear proficiency additional physical power change from 10 to 7. That's not bad. Spear is pretty good on Ranger. Very good. Ranger's true shot physical damage bonus changed from 5 to 8. Okay. Ranger's backstep cooldown changed from 14 to 10. Let's go. I love the, the plays you can make with backstep. Warlock shadow touch true magical damage changed from 3 to 2. Magical heal base from 3 to 2 as well. So a slight nerf to shadow touch. Still going to be pretty decent, but definitely not as good now. Box Bulk Rush from Cooldown changed from 18 to 24. Magic damage changed from 10, 15 to 10. Recovery Duration Penalty changed from 70% to 80%. That's a big blow of Corruption Nerf. Warlock's Dark Offering changed from 12 seconds to 15 seconds. I've never used that. Warlock's Bloodstained Blade additional weapon damage from 7 to 5. That's pretty big too. Heavy Game Sin Ornate changed from Blade to Cloth. Okay, does that mean that they're going to be lighter? If the Gambeson and the Jazzerant is lighter, that would be crazy. I believe the Jazzerant was 14 and the Heavy Gambeson was like 18. I can't remember off the top of my head. I know the Jazzerant was 14 though. Weapon damage has been slightly increased for the Fallen Legendaries and re unique rarity weapons. So Armic Sword, which is like the Kuma's Claw, I believe. Bardish, Battle Axe, Double Axe, Failing Axe, Halberd, Morningstar, the center's gonna do more damage. Morning star. I don't know if that's Bovarizing Prayer. I don't know if the mace, the flange mace, has a, a unique named quarterstaff, rapier, recurve, dagger, spear, warhammer, wizard staff. So legendary stuff is gonna be a little bit better. Interesting weapon damage has been reduced. That's just good. Moving penalty applied to the target has been increased. So when you're when you have your weapon out, I believe you're going to be running slower. If not, when you get hit by it, you run slower. Applied to the target. So that means when you get hit, I didn't read that through. Throwing knife weapon damage has been reduced. The moves speed penalty has been increased from 20 to 25 percent, which is not bad. Club weapon damage is slightly reduced. Oh, OK. And crossbow weapon damage slightly reduced. Hatchet weapon damage increase, horse mass weapon damage increase. You can now unlock two more additional stashes for gold. I wonder how expensive that's going to be. I assume it's going to be like 20k to 30k for the next ones. Class filters have been added to the marketplace. Let's go. Read the Dutch requirements for the character kill quest. Let's go as well. Those are really the last two are big, honestly. The marketplace is going to be a little bit like easier to navigate for certain classes and the kill quest was really annoying having to play goblin caves and whatnot i overall don't think this was a bad hotfix i think 
the creep adjustment nerf was good i would like it to just not be a thing but hey what are you gonna do just gotta adapt i guess and the the road creep increase was very much needed if you guys seen yami's video he barely was moving quicker when he was crouching which was hilarious to see um but anyways that is the end of the review for the hotfix let me know your guys's thoughts and wait i did not see this after the patch the matchmaking pool for high roller ranked will be adjusted to neophyte apprentice together wanderer pathfinder voyager exemplar demigod together so as soon as you hit wanderer which is the green the green rank you're going to be matched up with all the other classes all the other ranks so once you hit green boys get ready no more smurfing all you smurfers out there beware you're going to be in the big boys lobbies apparently now and they're also working on crashes. So that's all. Hope you guys like the patch and appreciate the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.